Hi friends, let me briefly elucidate the video head impulse test. The primary objective of the V-head is to measure VOR, the reflex that makes sure that our visual field remains steady even if we are walking, running or jumping. Without the VOR, the entire visual field would shake like the video I clicked through a handheld camera. Now how does this work? The vestibular system is constantly sensing head movements and it tells the eye to move in the opposite direction of that movement, thereby making sure that the eye is focused on what it is seeing. This was traditionally tested uh, during the head impulse test of the head, where the tester would ask the patient to look at his or her nose and then move the head to check if the eyes remained steady or did they move. If the VOR is good, the eyes would remain fixed on the examiner's nose even if the head is moved very fast. The same test is now done with a camera that records the eye movements and a gyroscope that can record the head movement. With this, with this, we can compare the function of the semicircular canals by comparing the head movement, which you see here, with the eye movement, which you see here. Now, in cases when the VOR is perfect, the eye movement should exactly be opposite of the head. For example, here, the right VOR seems to be good. So you see the head movement and the eye movement seems to be quite, quite symmetrical. While the left side, the head movement, of course, is no problem because the examiner is doing it themselves. But the eye movement did not really move. And the patient had to use catch-up saccades here like this to compensate for that weakness. So in this patient, we can quite clearly see that the left horizontal semicircular canal is weak with a gain of 0.29 as opposed to the right side with a gain of 0.94. We can not only check the horizontal but all six semicircular canals. We can check the right anterior left posterior and the left anterior right posterior. Thus, we can know the function of the six canals, the superior and inferior vestibular nerves. We can diagnose acute vestibular lesions and monitor their compensation. The v head has strengthened our arsenal of vestibulometry and objective management of patients with balance problems. Thank you for watching this video from Dr. Malik's Prime Clinic.